A very important skill in mathematics and also outside of maths is the ability to convert between units. Let's have a look at two units of lengths here. Let's say we want to convert 400 millimetres to centimetres. And a good activity to go through and do would be to have some sort of structure to be able to do any conversion, in this case for lengths. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at the basic units of lengths. So we'll look at millimetres, centimetres, metres and then kilometres. And you'll notice we've put these in order. So we're going from very small units, the millimetres, all the way through the larger units, kilometres. Now, of course, we could extend this to have such things as micrometres and nanometres, etc. But we'll keep it simple for the moment for units that we use regularly in a high school classroom. Let's have a look at how this chart can help us do a conversion. We'll first of all consider millimetres to centimetres and we'll put an arrow in place to show that because that's the one that we were asked originally at the start of the video. Now we know from a ruler that there are 10 millimetres in one centimetre. So in other words, if we wanted to convert 10 millimetres to one centimetre, the logical thing to do would be to divide by 10. So we'll show that in our chart just above the arrow. Let's also look at the conversion between centimetres and metres and then on to kilometres. Now we know that in one metre there's 100 centimetres. So in other words, to convert 100 centimetres to a metre, we need to divide by 100. And then likewise, there's 1,000 metres in a kilometre. So we need to convert by dividing by 1,000 to get the number of kilometres from metres. Now to work the other way in the chart, we'll start by putting arrows from the right, in other words from kilometres, all the way through to millimetres. And if we've got one kilometre, we know that's 1,000 metres. So we need to multiply one by 1,000 to get the number of metres. And in fact, what happens is, as we move from right to left, we're going to do the opposite operation to what we see on top. So we're going to multiply by 1,000 from kilometres to metres and then multiply by 100 from metres to centimetres, and then multiply by 10 from centimetres to millimetres. So let's have a look at some examples. You may wish to pause here and see if you can do these examples by yourself. So the first one, what we need to do is convert from millimetres to centimetres. So what we do is we find the place on the chart where millimetres is, and we look at the arrow that takes us to centimetres. You can see that that's going to be a case of dividing by 10. So 400 millimetres becomes 40 centimetres. In the next case, we're going from kilometres to metres. So we'll find where kilometres is on the chart and follow the arrow to metres. And that means multiplying by 1,000. That gives us a result of 3,200 metres. Now the next one, kilometres to centimetres, involves a couple of jumps. So we start from where we see kilometres and moving the arrows to the left, we see we need to multiply by 1,000 and multiply by 100. So that gives us a result of 400,000 centimetres. Now this conversion chart can be used for other types of units. So we can see here that we've got different units of mass, milligrams, grams and kilograms, again going from a very small unit to a larger unit. In this case the conversions are a lot simpler because in both cases it involves 1,000. So moving left to right we're dividing by 1,000 between the units and then going from right to left, in other words kilograms to milligrams, we're multiplying by 1,000. So let's have a look at our example here and see how we use the chart to help us in this case. What we need to do is convert 0.03 kilograms to grams. So we're going to go from right to left. So in this case we can see that from kilograms to grams we multiply by 1,000. So 0.03 multiplied by 1,000 is going to equal 30 grams.